You find yourself in an abandoned city. There are no humans except you and the rest of the passengers. There's something a lot more dangerous though. Zombies. The city is in quarantine and all exits are blocked by the police. The only way out is to survive long enough for the rescue team to arrive. All you have is a pistol, an M16, a shotgun, a knife and a bit of ammo, some food and a medkit. Your plane is in the middle of the map. You crashed in some kind of park that has a little pond and in the middle of it there's an island. You see chests and inside of them there are ammunition, food and medkits. That leads us to the exit of the park where you need to find a hole in the fence in order to get out. If you find yourself out you will be met with a view of a road which goes around the park and connects all other buildings. Now there are 12 locations. Other locations contain chests, but some of them are more dangerous than others, but more rewarding if you survive. I could give you detailed info about every single place in a map, but I think exploring is uh, an important aspect of the game, and telling you all the info would make you bored uh, about the game after 5 minutes. Same applies to zombies, especially bad blood. I probably won't do guide on that game mode because there are a lot of content about them already. There is one thing though, don't enter the police station. It's very dangerous. It only has one exit, which additionally is preceded by a long narrow corridor and other narrow spaces, in which you will not be able to escape from zombies and you will die. There are only two situations in which you can enter. 1. You have a big team with you and a lot of shotgun ammo. 2. Rescue arrives at the police station. Which all gets to my point that you shouldn't enter without a big amount of teammates. However, there's a great chance that someone dies nonetheless, so take care that it will not be you. Remember, the most important thing is for you to get out of there alive. Just spend the least amount of time in narrow spaces as possible, and remember, this applies to all of the more dangerous places such as scrapyard, bank and farmhouse. Remember, stay out of narrow sp and closed spaces with one exit. There are three types of zombies, normal ones, baby ones and infected players. Infected players are tougher and deal more damage than normal zombies. There are five weapons. Pistol is a very universal weapon, good in long and short distances, and the damage is satisfying because if you hit a headshot, it is able to, ma uh, to take out a regular zombie. You get a decent amount of bullet per chest. M16 is a great weapon when it comes to clearing hordes of zombies on a distance. Unfortunately, the damage isn't that high, paired with a high fire rate and the ammo supply is over very soon. You get a, a big amount of bullets per chest though. Shotgun is a lifesaver. It works on short distances but deals gigantic damage. You can take out an infected player in one shot using this weapon. All zombies that survived your shot also take knockback. If you are swarmed by zombies you can easily make way uh, using this beauty. That is why you need to have hotkeys, which I covered in my CVZ tips video. You get about 2 bullets per chest. Moving on, we have the knife. You receive this weapon at the beginning of every game. The knife has reach like a normal sword would have, but it makes up with its big damage which can one shot a zombie. Unfortunately, it is very fragile. It only takes a a few hits to break. 
On top of that, it can't hit a multiple zombies like a shotgun can. The riot stick is a weapon almost the same as the knife. It breaks, uh, it breaks so easy as a knife, and it deals the same damage. After seven minutes, the rescue team will arrive in a random location. But before it arrives, you have 60 seconds to get to the rescue zone, and if not, you will be hit with a blindness toxin, which will inflict blindness and wither. If you get to the rescue zone, you need to wait for the rescue 3 minutes before it arrives. In that time, a lot of zombies will be spawning, and you and other survivors will have to fight them off. When the rescue clock hits zero and you are in the rescue zone, you are saved. Congratulations, you have won. Remember though, always make sure that you are in the rescue zone, because once I was left to die because I was just a few blocks away from the rescue zone. And now, you are safe. Or are you?